This app handled more than $15 trillion of transactions last year. That's more than MasterCard and an amount of money that's similar to the European Union's GDP. It also has more than 900 million users in China. People use Alipay on buses and taxis to pay their utility bills, shop in stores and online, and even to buy insurance and make investments. And yet many Americans may have never heard of it. And it's huge in China. The Alipay app is essentially a financial supermarket that allows you to do everything on your mobile phone. Alipay's parent company, Ant Group, is getting global attention in 2020. Its combined IPOs in Hong Kong and Shanghai could be one of the largest listings ever, as Ant is aiming for a market valuation in excess of $200 billion. That means it may sell more than $20 billion in shares when it goes public. So what is Ant and how did it become so big? It all started with Jack Ma, the flamboyant Chinese businessman who's known for his inspirational speeches. It's not about the money, it's about the dreams. Extravagant performances at company parties. <laughs> and of course, co-founding Alibaba more than two decades ago, which has since become a half trillion dollar online shopping giant. Alibaba is like a mix of Amazon, eBay and PayPal also with a dash of Google. But it handles more business on its shopping sites than any other company in the world. When Alibaba was just starting out, it created Alipay as an escrow service to hold money from buyers and release the funds to sellers after the goods had been sent and received. This built trust between merchants and buyers and helped to pave the way for the e-commerce industry boom in China. Not that many people in China have credit cards compared to the US. With Alipay, most people draw funds directly from their bank accounts and make cashless electronic payments without needing to use credit cards. In China, you barely see anyone use cash anymore, whether it's to buy uh, a soda or a pack of cigarettes. People buy things with QR code and facial recognition. In less than five years, Alipay has expanded to become a ubiquitous app that touches other parts of life. Today, Ant Group encompasses not just Alipay, but a broader range of financial services, including microlending, insurance, and one of the largest money market funds in the world called Youabao. So it's a really flexible tool that gives the average Chinese consumers and small business owners who have long been ignored by the major banks a taste of what it's like to be able to invest and save money and to get financing to fund operations. And all of these are done just through their smartphones almost instantly. But the rapid growth of Ant has drawn scrutiny from banks and regulators as previously reported by the journal. Some Chinese banks were earlier concerned that Ant could take away their deposits and reduce how much cash people use. Ant is trying to shed its image as a disruptor of China's banking sector. This year, the company dropped the word financial services from its name in order to rebrand itself as more of a tech company. It also partners with many banks that fund the loans it makes and has made its money market fund less risky. Regulators, especially the central bank, they are very concerned about potential liquidity risk um, in one single fund on the Yuebao platform. Um, uh, the problem is if all investors in this fund decide to draw the money at the same time, uh, it could cause a huge liquidity risk and even damage the uh, stability of China's financial system. Ant responded quickly to regulators' concerns by imposing caps on how much people could invest and opening the platform to rival funds. While Ant may have been a bit reluctant to do that to some degree, um, its cooperation with the government really is crucial because in China, very few businesses can succeed without blessings from the regulators. Outside China, Ant's attempts to expand have sometimes gotten entangled in politics. In 2017, Ant tried to buy U.S. money transfer company MoneyGram, but the deal was scuttled by U.S. officials because of national security concerns. That was a really big blow to Ant's ambition to expand in the U.S., which is a very large and potentially lucrative market. And this time, Ant's dual IPO with Alibaba will bypass New York. A person familiar with the company said Ant never intended to go public in the U.S. 
It has its eyes on India and Southeast Asia, where consumers and businesses are underbanked similar to those in China. But Ant's plans aren't to launch Alipay in those markets. Ant never intends to serve consumers outside of China via Alipay directly. Their approach is to provide some tech or operational expertise in some mobile payment startups in those markets, but they don't really run this business in-house. And since Ant has already captured the biggest market in the world, it's been laying the groundwork to follow the millions of Chinese tourists who go abroad every year. The company has increased partnerships with retailers and restaurants overseas. While the pandemic has stifled much of global travel this year, the company is not seeing a slowdown of online shopping and cashless payments in China. Though Ant will make global headlines when it hits in Hong Kong and Shanghai, it may remain a household name only in China.